What's up everyone, and in today's video I'll be painting volume 28 of Berserk. But first, I found this footage of my first attempt of doing this painting just over a year ago. And for this one, I just wanted to do a quick simple version, so very little detail put into Guts and his armor. And even when I started this painting, I knew I'd do a bigger and more detailed version, which is this video right here. So for now, enjoy me spray painting the moon in the night sky. Sped up, of course. And as you'll see from the final product, it's nothing too amazing, you know, but you get the idea. Not too horrendous for a first take. And with that, it's time to get started on the new and hopefully improved version. So what makes the painting different this time around is that it's now a 12 by 16 canvas instead of an 8 by 10. And since it's a bigger canvas, that means the stencils are upscaled as well. And as you can see, I will also be adding the Berserk logo. But more about that when I break out the acrylic paints. For now, enjoy the spray painting process. Yeah, I forgot to record the painting of the stencil, but that doesn't matter too much because this time the stencil is mainly here to just be painted over. Also ignore my attempt at trying to make some kind of textured rock formations. It didn't work out and wouldn't have mattered anyways as you'll see later on in the video. But let's move away from spray paint for now and go on to acrylics. And if you ever wanted to put acrylics onto spray paint without a problem, I recommend coating the piece in a matte medium. It really helps the acrylics go on with ease, but if it were all liquidex spray paint and acrylics, then you don't need the matte medium. 
but even though the paint now goes on with ease, it's still going to take a few layers to get it the way I like because you see I'm more comfortable with spray cans than I am a brush. But I'm practicing and this piece will surely be a learning experience still for me. So who knows how this will look next year if I decide to paint this again. But anyways, here's past me talking about what I've done so far and what needs to be done. All right, so here's the progress I'm at right now. Right now, it's just the very basic first layer, but I kind of do like the legs or at least the back leg and the arms so far. I think I need to add a little more detail on his left leg. The cape, it needs the most work. I just did a basic thing here because I was thinking about adding the Berserk logo right here, but when looking at it as a whole, I think I'm going to have to add it up here instead. So you're going to have a red katakana of Berserk right there. Kind of make it look like it's painted in blood or whatever. So right here, you'll see that towards the end. And down here, I think I'm just going to add more clouds. So the bottom of the cape is going to get covered. Sign it in red. And my signature, the way I do it, kind of looks like the brand of sacrifice anyway. So thinking of also just adding a brand of sacrifice right here. And then as for the sword, as you can see, I put a little bit of blood in there. I think I'll make the this side shine a little more and then a little more blood there but more black in the middle right here for shadows a little more detail in like this ribbon cloth that's on the sword hilt a little more work with the hand and then the mask needs the most work so i need to figure out how to make the teeth go back a little more add some more details in the helmet add the z shaped eye and it'll be pretty good but yeah enough of that let's get back to it and I'll be honest, any part of a painting video where I'm painting with a brush is pretty boring, mainly due to, like I said earlier, with me not being the best when it comes to brush work, because honestly, I'm kind of just winging it. I mean, yeah, I have the manga cover as reference, but I can't do it exact, nor have the skill to do it exact, so I'm just doing what looks and feels right. For example, the blood. I'm adding quite a bit of blood and blood stains onto this piece. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Now, just before I add all the finishing touches onto the armor, I need more clouds at the bottom. So I'm going to have to make a new stencil to help me with that. I used to have one already made, but I lost that one. Also, this is something I learned from Sketch Art. You should definitely check them out if you want to learn more about spray painting or just want to check out a cool artist. But anyways, here's the stencil. I might need to make the grooves bigger in some spaces and some spots, but I can do that another time. But for now, let's test it out and get the outline of the logo sprayed on. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, the rock formations didn't matter because I, I decided to put the logo on top instead of the bottom. It just felt right. Because if I put it at the bottom, the top would have just felt empty. So if I just put the logo on top, some clouds, rock formations, the signature, and the brand of sacrifice I was talking about, I think it was, it's going to look better. Okay, now that all that's done, it's time to finish the logo, the little details in the armor, sign it, varnish it with a satin polymer, and it is complete. So without further ado, here's the final product. And here it is. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. Seeing as how I'm not too strong with my brush work yet, but I'm working on it. But also, as you could see from my last year's attempt to this year's attempt, there is some improvement that I see, you know, compared to last year's and maybe next year. I'm kind of thinking about it. Maybe next year I'll try to do an even better version of this. And you know, I'll give a little hint to what I'm thinking about if I do this next year again. I'm thinking about putting guts on top of a bunch of skulls, you know, bodies, just really make it bloody, you know, and a lot more detail. But, you know, that's not until like maybe next year or in a couple of months. Who knows if I'm feeling up to it or not. But that's not until a year for now. Things could change. But as for right now, I have plans for a painting other anime series. So be on the lookout for that. 
And if you liked today's video, be sure to like and subscribe. It would mean a lot, especially since I'm getting a little closer to 400 subs now. Yes, again, many thanks for watching. And if you want to see even more manga, anime, or painting related content, be sure to subscribe. And with that, see you next time. Thank you.